this is Alexa Philpu from The Current. Um, great to see you. Um, I'm, I guess since we haven't really spoken to you since you um, officially came back onto the coaching staff, uh, could you kind of take us through a little bit about how, uh, I guess, how much convincing it took maybe from Gino to get you to come back on board, um, I guess, the, you know, when you were there inter on an interim basis, but then also long term and what's it been like so far to, to be back on the staff and, and with the team? Well, obviously, um, you know, there was a situation where I've been at, I was asked to come out of the bullpen um, kind of towards, I think it was February of uh, this year, towards the end of the season. And obviously, I have a lot of uh, um, dedication. And, and when someone asked me to do something for a program that has done so much for me, um, I didn't even hesitate at the opportunity to come in and help in any way that I can towards the end of last season. So um, that was my thought going in to be uh, at least come in and do what I can to help uh, finish up the season. Obviously, once I got here, um, it was a situation at the end of the season. Our season was cut short, uh, and Coach Arama asked me to uh, stay on um, for this season. And uh, to answer your question as far as how much convincing, um, it took some thought. You know, obviously, when I came back, um, I fell in love with being on the floor again, just seeing the growth in, uh, in the player development and seeing how I can impact um, – the players and also help Coach Oriam and the rest of the staff uh, in any way that I can. But I had also started to pursue a different career in leadership here on campus and administration so, and that I was enjoying the experience. I was learning a lot. Um, but um, again, you know, I felt um, the need was there. Um, I enjoyed it. And um, here I am again this season, hopefully, obviously, with our season being short, I get a chance to not only start a year, but knock on wood, finish a year this up upcoming season with our program and team. Thank you. Hey, Jamel, it's Carl Adamek. How are you? Good, Carl. How are you? Great. The Giants are 2-7, and seven, but 2-0 and oh against Washington, and I'm thirsty. It's a fight to, in the NFC East, so who's going to finish last? Right. <laughs> uh, question. Olivia finished the season very well the last few weeks of the last season. What kind of jump have you seen from her in practice? What, how has she raised her game, and how important is it that she do that? Um, what kind of jump have I seen from her? How has she raised her game and how important it is? Yes. I think – I think Liv is, from the time that I started being around practice a little more consistently last year to this year, uh, Liv is a lot more active. Um, she's constantly aware where the ball is, how she can make plays, um, when the ball is coming her way, when the ball is not with her, you know, what she needs to do to be in a position to make the next play, whether it's to um, set a screen, whether it's to duck in and find a ball. Um, so I feel like she's involved in every possession, um, and that's been consistent. And the other thing is just her leadership. Um, she's become a very vocal leader in practice, um, really setting the tone for what is expected um, from our, obviously there's no secret that we have set, uh, six new players on our team. So she's really taking an active role in being a leader on our team consistently. And those two things, being a leader and being more active every possession and being involved in every possession is something that I've seen her be more consistent in um, since last year. To follow up, what are your expectations for her? Should she be a double-double machine? What kind of presence should she be? Um, you know, I think, you know, Liv has goals, individual goals that she wants to achieve. I think be, uh, having a double-double every game is one of them. Um, being consistent every game is, is another one of them. And I think if you have a double-double, I don't think you can get more consistent than that throughout the season. Um, but also it's leading by example. You know, Liv right now is, is a junior, but, you know, she's a, in a seniority uh, role. Um, so, you know, what she does as far as setting the tone in a bar in practice every day, um, not only by her actions, but her leadership qualities and um, making sure that everyone else is doing exactly what is being asked of them in addition to her doing those things um, is it something that she's um, really gotten better at. And I expect to see that for her from her consistently throughout the year. Thank you. Hi, Jamal. It's Doug with uh, Hearst Connecticut Media. I wanted to ask you about another one of the team's bigs, uh, Aliyah Edwards. Uh, what have you seen from her so far? Is that someone who you can um, expect to produce 
you know, right away or you know, how, uh, just what have you seen from her? Well, I think Aaliyah, I think her number one strength is her physicality. She's not afraid to bang in the low post. She's not afraid to set a hard screen. She's not afraid to go to the boards and mix it up inside. So one of the things that has stood out to me um, from her presence on the floor is she brings a physicalness um, to the floor that I think is needed on both ends of the floor, whether it's rebounding, whether it's playing defense in the post, um, as well as on the offensive end, you know, finding your space and being able to carve out position on the inside um, to create ways for you to score um, while also getting yourself in a position to set good, good screens to get our shooters open shots. So I've been really pleasantly surprised by her physicality and her, her, her motor. You know, when she does things, she sprints up to catch the ball. She sprints to set screens. She sprints to run the floor. Um, so it's all good foundational things that she has that we're going to be um, able to build on the four years that she's here. Thanks. Hey, Jamel, it's, it's Vicki Fulkerson from the New London Day. Um, I, I know part, part of, obviously, um, you were on the road recruiting well, as, much, as much as possible. And that, you know, that's part of going back to coaching. Um, you signed a, a great class yesterday. Um, what, uh, what role like, did, did you play in kind of helping uh, like, sew up the, the last couple of members of that class? And especially um, AZ being from Washington also, did you – have some maybe magic Washington charms with her? Well, I think, you know, I'm always uh, happy to see any players coming up to UConn from the DMV area. Um, obviously, that's a, a place that I'm from. Um, AZ, you know, spent spent her high school years down in, in the D.C. area. So um, it's good to have someone up from that area. But it, my role, um, the, I feel like we've been recruiting AZ for a very long time. And I know when I came back to campus, I guess it's been about three years now in an administrative role. Um, you know, I wasn't here on the campus visit necessarily in every minute of uh, the 48 hours or the, the 24 hours they were here unofficially on a visit. Um, but I did meet with each one of our recruits in an administrative role um, because obviously I was in a unique situation being with the National Sea Club at the time to um, meet with the parents of our incoming class um, and as well as the recruits in our incoming class to kind of share with them my experience as a player, my experience as a coach, and um, my experience here at UConn and, and being able to share with them as much as possible. Um, the reason why I fell in love with UConn, the reason why I stayed around as an assistant at UConn, a graduate assistant, um, and now coming back in an administrative role and now I'm back on the staff as an assistant. So just trying to give them a different perspective on what it's like on campus. I don't think I played as big of a role as the rest of the staff did, but hopefully I helped out um, in any way that I can. Jamel, Roger Cleveland from the Waterbury Republican American. How are you? I'm great, Roger. Thank you. You're welcome. How much did you miss being around the players and coaching on an everyday basis? And are, do you feel energized the last, you know, six months, eight months, whatever it was that you've been back doing that? Well, I, f I mean, <laughs> The, my favorite part of coaches is, it, coaching is being on the floor, you know, seeing a player development, um, being able to um, go through it with them and see the progress that they make made. So when I first came back in February, um, I fell in love with being a coach again all over again, just to have the opportunity to be back on the floor. Um, so that's, that's, that's the, the one thing that I look forward to every day. Number one is being out on the floor, whether it's individual workouts or practice or just getting extra shots in. So I know the recruiting pieces and, you know, that, that comes with it. And obviously I have a lot of experience with it. Um, but the reason why I start, I decided to stay on is two things to help in any way I can to help our, our players be better players and people. Um, and also help Coach Ariyama um, and the rest of the staff in any way that I can um, to help them. Thank you. Hi, Jamel. It's Daniel Connolly from the UConn blog. Uh, getting back to the team a little bit, what have you seen from P.F.? From all we've heard, it seems like she's got the size but still needs to kind of work on her game. Where is she right now from your perspective? Well, you know, she's, uh, I tell you what, she's six seven, and she's unlike anybody else we have on our roster. So that makes her extremely unique. And right now, I think, you know, every day we just find opportunities to get her um, in individual situations to continue to see that growth in her, um, you know, her presence inside, her finishing consistently around the basket. Um, but she has a great wild 
about her. She wants to be taught. She's eager to learn every day. Um, she, you know, does she have a long way to go, just like all of our other players? Absolutely. But the fun part of it is seeing her eyes every day, um, eager when she comes into practice, eager to get better um, and anticipating um, ways that she can but get better every day. So when it is um, time for her to have an opportunity to impact us, when it's time to play, um, she's going to be as ready as possible. Thank you. Anything else for Jamel? I'll ask a quick follow-up. Oh, unless, Charlotte, go ahead. I already asked one. Oh, no, I was just going to ask kind of on the follow-up with the freshmen, just how that's been in practice. Hi, this is Charlotte from The Athletic, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, how it's been in practice having a roster that's dominated by youth and kind of you mentioned Piast Energy where – Maybe it might take a little bit longer, but having that aspect of the game. Well, I think as a coach and a teacher, and um, I think that's great. You know, you have six players that are came here on campus eager to learn, eager to compete, eager to understand what it takes to um, compete at the national level here in a program that's been consistently doing that. So um, I enjoy it as a coach, just teaching them. Um, you know, they learn, they know a lot about the game, but continuing to teach them different aspects of the game um, and, the, and the pace at which they have to play it on this level. Um, it's been fun for me as a coach and I, I'm not speaking for the rest of the staff but it's always good to, to to be able to teach and coach and right now we have six players that um, is new to the program and every day they're getting better with the repetition um, and the teaching that goes on in practice but um, I think it's a great thing for the coaches and I think it's a great day even for the returners because we're doing a lot of repetition a lot of repetition for us to all um, get better at the things we need to get better at. Hey, Jamel, it's Ricky again. What what made you um, – what what was it about coming back to UConn that made you re-fall in love with coaching? Is it just like being around TD and getting picked on by Gino again or just being around the kids? Or what, what, what brought that feeling back for you? I've been on the floor, you know, taking every opportunity that I can, whether it was with a post player or with a guard, to just talk to them about the game, you know. Whether it's the mental side of the game, whether it's the physical side of the game, um, just helping them understand the expectations of um, the game of basketball and what it's like to play here and this type of level and the expectations that go with that. Um, so I would definitely, without a doubt, say it's 100%. Um, the joy for me is being back on the floor. Every opportunity that I get, I love it. 